This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, I see a lot of people going in on Bow Wow and not believing things that he said on the interview on The Breakfast Club just now. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my timeline right now. and What you seeing? What you seeing? Leah Marie said people talk about him because of the lies he tells. Get it right. Did you hear the actual interview? Prime example, the Bow Wow Challenge. Mm -mm -mm. Thing is, with Bow Wow, he tries too hard to be relevant instead of just being him. So braggadocious. Nothing sounds authentic. Well, here's one thing that just got verified this morning. Now, in the interview, Bow Wow said that a young lady passed out. Check it out. Like last night in Norfolk, Virginia. Like girls was passing out in the club. I ain't seen that because I was little. On oh, God. Just shaking, crying, and then she died. she just fell out in the club. I'm like, what the? Like, this is but crazy. When you, he said, oh, God. All right, he well. He said girls, too, though. He said girls, plural. Well, first he said a girl. He said a and girl. then he said, yeah, I think he just. Okay. So the security, actually, who was my security when I went to Virginia, actually texted me. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, Miss Yee, this is the security that was with you when you came to VA. I was working the venue Bow Wow came to, and I can say the girl really did pass out. He didn't lie about that one. Well, the club is hot. You know what I mean? People be Stop on drugs. It. Stop they it. Nobody, drunk. Nobody's on drugs. You know what I mean? And, but I will say this, though. A lot of, I know some people who have emotional investments in Bow Wow because they grew up on them. Absolutely. I didn't grow up on Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? So some people do have uh, an emotional investment. So she probably saw her and was reminiscing about her childhood. Yeah, some girls are going crazy on my Instagram. One girl was like, oh, my God, he still looks so good. I mean, okay. it's believable. And people are just retarded. Let's just throw that out there, Stop too. It. All right, Mariah Carey has come forward and confessed something that she has been suffering from for years and that is that she was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder in 2001 now she said she's been in constant fear of being exposed but now she wants that stigma to finally be lifted she said until recently i lived in denial and isolation and in constant fear someone would expose me it was too heavy a burden to carry and i simply couldn't do that anymore i sought and received treatment i put positive people around me and i got back to doing what i love writing songs and making music that's good. Congratulations to her. Drop on the clues bombs from Mariah Carey. If you remember, and this is in People Magazine, she's on the cover right now, she was diagnosed at that same time back in 2001 after being hospitalized for an emotional and physical breakdown at that time. Mm -hmm. So she said she only recently started to receive treatment after a difficult few years. Well, that's not going to make people, uh, you know, uh, uh, disregard the fact that sometimes she sounds good singing live and sometimes she doesn't nowadays. No, not at all. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. Right, so she has symptoms of periods of depression and persistent elevated or irritable mood, sleeplessness. And I'm sure that does affect your performance, though, when you can't no. sleep and you're uh, having terrible mood. Yeah, and I'm she sure. said, I was working and working and working. I was in constant fear of letting people down. It turns out I was experiencing a form of mania. Eventually, I would just hit a, I just hit a wall. I guess my depressive episodes were characterized by having very low energy. I would feel so lonely and sad, even guilty, that I wasn't doing what I needed to be doing for my career. So now I she, knew y'all was going to use this as an excuse as to why her vocal cords be trash sometime nowadays. Well, I it. but I, you know, imagine having these episodes where you can't sleep. You're experiencing that, and you're have a lot of anxiety and very low energy, all of those True. things, which are symptoms of bipolar 2 mm -hmm. disorder that she's experienced. So she said, I'm hopeful we can get to a place where that stigma is lifted from people going through anything alone. It can be incredibly isolating and not telling people that you're having these struggles and she hadn't treated it until recently. Well, so, therapy is great. I go to therapy every Friday at three. Congratulations to her. I see Safari's in therapy now also. He just had his yeah. first therapy session. Safari actually hit me up last week and uh, asked me to recommend him a therapist. He I, actually did. All right. I never responded to him, though. What kind of friend wow. are you? Well, I, did, I did respond to say, I got you, but I forgot to hit him back. I well, did. there you go. All right, Meek Mill, he's getting support from a lot of people. As you can see, they've been going to visit him while he's in jail. And Wale actually went to visit him. He posted about it. And they had to remember that very public spat when yep. Meek Mill said Wale didn't tweet a thing about his album. He said, we look back and laugh at the dumb ish and we welcome the endless possibilities of our future with open arms. The silver lining in this effed up situation is the clarity and wisdom he has gained. So he said, uh, the body can be captured, but the mind can remain elusive when there is clarity. Also, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft went to go visit Meek Mill in jail as well as the Philadelphia mayor, Jim Kenney. Now, T.I. posted, Meek Mill is expected to be released from jail Monday after his court, court hearing. Hashtag free Meek. So. I just don't understand if all of these important people are going to see him and you got the governor and the mayor all saying that this is wrong. Why don't they just 
pardon him. I, I thought guess they it's said still due process. No, they. I thought I read something that he might be freed Monday. That's yeah, what that's I what seen. I just said. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he. So maybe it's working. Yeah, it's just a process. You can't just be like, all right, let him out right now. I, I guess they still. I have thought to you go could through. just pardon people. I don't know if that that works just like that. I think that. they had to appeal to the um the higher court there to overrule that judge's ruling. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.